this is my audience. Addiction, a tough subject for a lot of people. And addiction can come from anything, like games, to shows, and sometimes some even some more hardcore stuff, like yoga. But mine is seen in one of the hardest things around, Eli's coffee. Each day I wake up, I struggle to find myself not thinking about the beautifully made, blended coffees at the wondrous coffee shop of Eli's. But each time I go in and get myself a coffee, I can't but help think about how this delicious drink came to be. Well, after a bit of time, tears, and research, I'll now be the one to tell you the answer to the world's eighth wonder. The start to something amazing. Katie Vanderberg, at the young age of 24 years old, did what quite possibly every single 24 year old would want to do during their that age, open a coffee shop. She decided that doing such would be the best out of remodeling an old house on the town square, made by a man named Eli Messenger. This house is located at 205 West Jefferson Street, uh, Morton, Illinois, and is named after the creator of the house. There are now, after nine years, they opened their first store, and there are now three stores in total, one in Morton, one in Tremont, and one in, in Mackinac, as well as they just recently, in 2020, opened a headquarters in Morton as well, where they produce all their coffee beans, all of their treats, and every single uh, part of their uh, corporation is stationed in there. So you know, you're thinking, wow, Eli's coffee sounds really good. Uh, but how did it come to be so good and why is it so good? Well, maybe it could be something to do with the three pillars of Eli's. Connection, where they try to make a connection with each and every one of their employees and each person that comes with inside the store as it brings people to come back as well as makes the employees feel like they're part of the family and their community in which they love to give back to their community as well as do community events and just they embrace each and community they're in within each town. And heritage, as well as they try to maintain the three pillars and they try to maintain what made them so great at the beginning and how they did it so far. Or maybe it could be the donation creation of the month in which a person can go and submit a certain flavor, a certain type of flavor and mix of flavors in coffee in order to try to make a really good treat, a really good drink yeah, and so it can support their favorite charity as they can put that down and each month they pick one and all the donate all of the profits um, uh, half the profits actually go to that charity as well now it also could do with the great selection of coffee they have from blended to hot coffee as well as different drinks and different drinks is as tea and lemonade the different flavors they have ranging from their specialty flavors like the bohemian and the meal, ranging to also just plain old Jane coffee, or the tr different treats they have, like scones, cookies, or even brownies and cake, or even their sandwiches they have as well, at ranging from breakfast sandwiches you can get in the morning to different panini presses or different sandwiches they stop serving at 7.30. Or I really think it might even be just the service of the baristas, as each and every one of them feels like they're making me feel at home. as. Some of them, even in Morton or Metamora, know my order uh, most of the time, but I like to switch it up a lot. Or the atmosphere of Eli's, as each and every time you feel in, you walk in, you feel a warm welcome embrace as coffee is being pressed in the background, and each and every person is either sitting on their computer drinking their coffee, doing their normal thing, or just waiting for their coffee, talking with friends. And I just love to sit down inside there with the community as well. Wow, now you might think, Eli's coffee sounds really, really good. Now where can I go get it? Well, there are actually, the here are the actual four locations of Eli's coffee. There's 205 West Jefferson Street, which was the first Eli's in Morton, Illinois. There is 105 West Pearl Street in Tremont, Illinois. There is 101 West Partridge Street in Metamora, located on the square. And there is 116 South Main Street in Mackinac, Illinois. Now. The deals really helped me too with the Eli's app. So with the Eli's app, they have a point system in which each and every time you get a coffee, you get a certain amount of points as well. And those can add up to get different certain drinks and coupons. Like you can get a free drink 
as well as you can get range up to getting different merch and merchandise or coffee cups or even shirts and everything. Now, you can also get different discounts and coupons. Like you get a discount on coffee each and every month. And uh, during your birthday, you actually get a free coffee, a free 24 ounce blended or a free different coffee of your choice. Now, the prices on the coffee range a good amount. Like the cold coffee ranges from 4.49 to 5.69, as well as the different hot coffees can range from 2.59 to 3.19. The hot coffees are a lot smaller, uh, but the treats, as well as the scones and different types of cookies and cake, can range from 2.29 to 6.49, as well as you can because you can get different packs of cookies and stuff. And the sandwiches can range from 4.89 to 7.89, as well as some of the sandwiches are very high quality and fresh. Now. Going to the end of this, going to Eli's Go So Much might make you think at some point I'm going to get sick of it. Well, I honestly think that's far from the truth. I really love to, each time I go in, I love to switch it up and try different combinations, different drinks, and it really makes me feel like each time I go, I'm more and more welcome to the community. And I've tried all the different types of specialty drinks now already, and I honestly really recommend the Bohemian, which is a blend of the uh, it's a blend of hazelnut and chocolate, which here's a picture of one of the Frappuccinos. As well as, here's a picture of the app, the top of the app. The app is very good for placing <laughs> quick orders. And I really think that you should, everybody should give Eli's at least a chance and that if you are a fan of coffee, I believe you would be a great fan of Eli's and that you should step in and give it a whirl. Now, with that, I think that everybody should go to Eli's <laughs> and at least try it once and get your own opinion on the subject. And I got most of this information from the Eli's website as well as their different uh, tabs from the Eli's background to the creator talking about it in different blog posts. Thank you so much for listening.